What's up, Rodders? You know who it is. Your boy Savage, a.k.a. Sev Cisnettles. You know the logo. Broncos country, BCFFL, Bronco maniacs. Mile high salute to the Riders. Um, so we got football, man. Kansas City Queefs versus the Detroit Lions. Um, my heart wants the Queefs to lose because it's always a good thing when the Queefs lose. Um, but I'm in a win-win situation. Either way, either way the game goes. Um, Queefs lose. It's it's a beautiful thing for the AFC West, and it's always good to know that Queefer fans is you know in misery for the week. Um, but if the Chiefs win. The homie bet on the Chiefs to win, so we eating big for Friday tomorrow at lunch. So either way, I'm winning. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I go to work. I'm checking out all the videos from around the NFL. And uh, a lot of video makers are happy football seasons, you know, amongst us this weekend. And you got Bronco fans, you know, real amped up. You got Raider fans real amped up. And I get a, a message from the homie Pistol213. And that's the homie. He's a Raider fan. But this week, he's the Anamigo, bro, because he's a Raider fan. It's Raider Hater Nation over here. You know what it is. Um, and he addressing me in the video, and he's saying, don't worry about, you know, what's going on with the Raiders. Bruh, we ain't going to throw a blind eye of what's going on with that trash franchise over there that Chandler Jones is shitting on your team right now three days before game day. One of your veteran defensive players shitting on the team, exposing what's going on with that team. But it's a trend because there's been many players over the years doing that, bro. So there's something that's wrong. But I'm going to say it like this. Does Josh McDaniel's name ring bells with you dudes, bro? He's not a likable coach, bro. That's why you won't be shit with him. So, you know, um, that's what I got to say with that. I will always remind you when the Raiders fail at something. And I got to say this too, bro. Three years ago, whenever you guys um, whenever you guys got him, Raider fans really thought they were going to the Super Bowl on the defense side of the ball. And that shit didn't help you whatsoever. And they were celebrating, acquired the dude, and they were celebrating his name and running in the streets like they won the lotto. And now that he's shitting on your team, now he's not a good player. So fast, the tune changed. You fools are ridiculous with that. Raiders Nation, man. Leave it up them. Leave it up to them to just switch up. But that's the Raider way, huh? And then you told me I should be worried about what's going on with my team, the quarterback play. Now, let me remind you, bro. Jimmy G, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson got a very high winning percentage against Jimmy G. Last year, we slapped up Jimmy G with a worse Bronco team. And Jimmy G was on a better 49er team, and we slapped him up because Russell Wilson stays slapping up Jimmy G. We're not worried about your defense whatsoever. I know you guys got Peters back there. I'm proven still. You don't have uh, linebackers that can cover a tight end. And dosage, you said no offense. You, you're going to learn who dosage is, bro. You're going to have to cover dosage. Your linebackers can't cover dosage. The run game, we're eating, bro. So that's what I got to say, man. Chandler Jones over there shitting on the team. And Raider fans acting like it don't. it does not make them mad whatsoever. And he's not a threat. Home opener, we don't lose. We don't lose home openers, bruh. Sean Payton over Josh McDaniels any day. A real coach versus somebody that just ruins teams. You know what it is. Mile high salute to the riders. Let's go.